cloudy outside. It's low light conditions. What do you wear? What lens color? <laughs> I'm gonna tell ya. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, this guy is Eyeglass Tyler. I'm staying safe and comfy in my home, so welcome. I wanna to talk to you about lens tints. Not every tint color is great for every condition. Right now, we're talking about cloudy and low light conditions. And I think the best way to tackle this is to talk about the lighter tint options. I'll talk specialty polarized options. That's a thing. And then we'll talk about blue light blocking. So let's go ahead and shimmy on into it. So we'll start with talking light tint options that are available to you. And I'll start with the lightest to the darkest in order. And of course you have clear as an option. It's not really a tint, but it is a good option for a lot of people. It lets the most amount of light through making it to your eyes and is a really good option, but there's no color enhancement. There's no contrast enhancement. That's where we'll get into the tints. So we'll start with yellow. Then next up is a vermilion, which is kind of a pinkish color. And then you have amber, of course. And then finally, rose copper. I'm throwing rose copper in here because it's one of my favorite colors for just about every sport application. However, especially if you're ordering from Sport RX, you want to make sure that you're ordering a light rose copper. Our standard rose copper is pretty dark. This one, and with all of these lens tints, you have the option of varying degrees of tint or varying tint densities in these colors. So you can have a dark yellow or a light yellow. Regardless, it's gonna let a good amount of light through. When it comes to the rose copper, a light rose copper lets a good amount of light through and will be excellent for cloudy and low light conditions, but a dark rose copper, not so much. And so you wanna make sure that you get that right. And the best way to do that is to reach out to our opticians at SportRx. We would love to figure out what is right for your particular pair, so reach out to us. Now for specialty polarized lenses, this is a pretty fun category for me because I almost across the board do not recommend polarized lenses for cloudy or low light conditions. And that is because they are almost across the board, very dark lenses, not good for those conditions. But for those people who love, live and die by polarized lenses, you're going to want to pay attention because here are options for you. Starting with Maui Jim, we have their Maui HT lens that stands for high transmission and that lets about 26% of light through. And if you compare, contrast that with your typical polarized lens, which is about 12 to 15%, you're getting a lot more light to your eyes. So a very unique lens. With Costa, they have their Sunrise Silver Mirror lens, which lets about 30% of light through, so even more. And with the lion's share of options, we have Canaan they have the most options available to you here, starting with a gray base that lets 28% of light through their G28 lens. They also have this option in copper, so you want something contrast enhancing, which is really cool in my opinion. They have another 28% light transmission option, and they even have a yellow polarized lens. Mind you, all of these are fully polarized in a yellow, very, very hard to find. And this lets 35% of light through. And finally, they have the outrageous copper 50 lens, C50, it lets 50% of light through. Just something that you're never gonna find anywhere else. A ton of light to your eyes, still fully polarized with a copper base. That's interesting to you, definitely check them out. And now for tint colors that handle blue light. If you're unaware of the issue with blue light, I would encourage you first to check out our YouTube channel because we've definitely done videos on this. We've covered this topic and also a quick Google search is going to give you a lot of information, but a quick overview. We've known for a long time that UV light is damaging to your eyes. It's been more recent that we've realized that on the blue light spectrum, the visible light spectrum, that the shortwave blue light is also damaging and it's long-term damaging. It has been linked to macular degeneration is very serious. And so for those of you who take this seriously, there are some good tints that handle this naturally. There are also plenty of coatings and plenty of lenses dedicated to this, but we don't have to get into that right now. We're talking about tints and amber and yellow both handle blue light very well, just naturally, inherently. It absorbs that short wave blue light, if not most of blue light. And so you're protected from that. But an interesting submission to this category is transitions. If you don't know what transitions is, I will encourage you yet again to check out our YouTube channel. Subscribe, it's a really good idea. We have good stuff here and we've talked about transitions ad nauseum almost. And transitions is a photochromic 
brand. It is a lens brand that makes photochromic or light reactive lenses. And this, whether it be just a happy accident or not, naturally it absorbs this blue light and makes it a much better lens, whether it is activated or not activated, clear or tinted. It is going to handle this blue light transmission really well. And so that might be exactly right for you. So I would definitely encourage you to check it out. So that pretty well covers what I think is important to know about the best lens colors for cloudy or low light conditions. So hopefully now that I talked about lens tint options available, the specialty polarized options, and even a little bit about blue blocking, that you know what's right for you and your particular pair. By the way, if you decide to order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better guarantee, you never have to worry about getting something that isn't right or doesn't work for you. Just get back to us within 45 days and we'll make it right. Also, we have opticians who would love to help you get it right the first time, so definitely reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or valuable. If so, throw us a like. I would love it. You can check out relevant videos here and do subscribe like I've mentioned a number of times because you'll hear about these videos first. And also we're on social media. We have good content there and I would encourage you to check us out at SportRx.